you take a look at the needles, you can actually tell what type of tree this is. So let's count the needles. Five. Five. Five, right? This is called white pine. W-H-I-T-E. Five letters, five needles, white. There's something really powerful about nature. Bringing a student in front of a body of water, a field of grass, is completely different than putting them in front of a screen. You get a new personality out of the student, allowing them to be vulnerable, to take chances, which allows us to really enrich their education in a novel way. The Stream Science Program is our core science program in grades four, five, and six here at Gill St. Bernard School. And it's an opportunity for students to use the outdoors as a learning environment where true integration can happen across various subject matters on our beautiful 208 acre campus. Streams is wonderful for integrating all the different subjects. For example, in the sixth grade streams program, we're tracking bird migration across campus using the Cornell Lab of Ornithology's bird app, using math to measure, we're using art to illustrate the different birds we see, and the students are also practicing their language art skills by writing about the different birds that we observe on campus. The birds that really benefit and need grasslands for their nesting, for their survival, all of this, they eat that. If we mow this, we've now eliminated their food source, their protection, and a place for them to nest for them to lay their eggs. It's really the apex of childhood, if you will. They're sponges and they're ready to be active on campus to take what they have learned in the building and to use it outside with boundless energy. They put those boots on and they're eager to get outside. They're so enthusiastic and ready to find out what we're going to be doing. And then when we get out there, the energy level is just over the top. It is amazing to have these kids engaged with what we're doing and, and excited about being outside. So we're gonna be taking a height on the donkey today. So donkeys are equines, and all equines are measured in hands. A hand is how many inches? Four. Four. This truly is a sustainable working farm. We have our livestock that all serve sustainable purposes, and then also all the crops that we grow. They're either ending up in the dining hall, or a seasonal farm stand, or they're ending up in food banks. It's really important for me to show that we're actually using all of what we grow in a safe learning environment where the kids can really see from seed to harvest all the inputs that actually go into that. The Raritan River cuts right through our campus, so we have the Peapack Brook right here where the students are able to conduct water studies where they do chemical testing and biological testing of the water. They study the macroinvertebrates on campus. They're able to study water inequity by looking at the water source here compared to different places in the world and conduct other citizen science projects in the process. Agriculture is essentially where education started. You learn on the farm, you learn how to measure things, you learn how to take records of things. You need to look at the soil and the chemistry in the soil. It's a really good thing in education to bring kids out here to see those components that sometimes get lost. So if we have kids love our local environment, they'll care more about what's going on in a global environment. The biggest outcome from the Streams program is that children leave this program with a love of science, a love of the outdoors, and move forward with an understanding that the choices they make as a citizen scientist really impact our world and our environment. And so we hope that they move forward with an understanding and a love of science to make a difference.